Space is a pretty hostile place. It's cold outside, there's no kind of atmosphere, and even things like using ballpoint pens are impossible. In the average ballpoint pen, gravity forces ink from the cartridge into the ballpoint tip and onto the paper. But in a place with no gravity, the ink doesn't go anywhere, which is why those of you who spend your lives on Earth can't write upside down either. Very frustrating. But in 1966, the space pen was born. It writes at any angle and can also handle temperatures of 120 degrees Celsius and 30 below zero. Which is handy if you're ever stuck in orbit with a crossword. For good measure, this is an instrument that can write underwater and on greasy surfaces. And it will last almost three times as long as a typical ballpoint, which makes it popular even with people who aren't spacemen. Here at the factory in Boulder City, Nevada, they churn out more than a million space pens every year. Their success is built on two key innovations, a high-pressure ink cartridge and the patented gooey ink that goes inside. The first step in making a space pen is to fashion the tips from a coil of steel wire. A machine straightens the wire and then cuts it into pen tips about five millimeters long. It spits them out at a rate of 25 a minute. The tips are ejected in an oil bath that also keeps the machines from overheating. Then these drills dig a channel in each tip. These are how the ink will flow to the ballpoint. The next step is to shape the end of the tip where the pen's ballpoint will sit. That's what this machine called the Albi does. The pen may be mightier than the sword, but this pen has something in common with a more modern day weapon. The ballpoints are made out of tungsten carbide, the same metal used in armor piercing bullets. It's twice as hard as steel. The Albi hammers a ball into the end of each tip. Then it heats and stretches the tip up around the edges of the ball to hold it in place. It's got to fit perfectly or under high pressure, the ink will ooze right out of the pen and onto your nice clean spacesuit. So far, this pen is manufactured pretty much like any ballpoint pen. But here's where any similarities stop. This is a space pen. It needs some space ink. Normal ballpoint ink is thin, which is suitable for normal ballpoint pens. But the space pen depends on a highly pressurized cartridge, which would create leaks if conventional ink was used. Space pen ink has the consistency of soft toffee, which raises a perplexing question. How can thick goo like this flow onto a sheet of paper? For the same reason, toothpaste can be squeezed out of a tube, but also stay pretty solid on the brush. This ink is what's known as a thixotropic substance. At rest, it's a thick, dense gel, but under pressure, the ink turns into a spreadable fluid. To get the ink into the pen, hollow brass cartridges roll onto the assembly line. Ballpoint tips seal off one end. A machine then injects exactly 1.7 grams of ink. A sliding ball goes in next. The simulated gravity comes from this squirt of nitrogen and oxygen gas, which exerts about 2.5 kilos of pressure per square centimetre. 
about the same as an average car tyre. As the pen writes, the pressure on the ball forces the ink evenly down the chamber to the point. Now to seal the cartridge. A coating of glue goes in, followed by a brass plug. This keeps the ink from leaking out the back of the pen or evaporating. A regular ballpoint cartridge is open on the end, so the ink can dry out. But a space pen cartridge can write for more than three kilometres straight, so it will still be writing long after the average person runs out of things to say. With the inner workings now complete, workers assemble the outside of the pen. Fisher's most popular space pen model is called the bullet pen, and it's fairly obvious why. Workers slip in the cartridges, pop on the bottom cases, screw them together, and top them off with tightly fitting caps. A quick test scribble and these pens are ready to be shipped to the stationery shop, or indeed, the space station. It's clear this space pen is made of the right stuff. <laughs>